I have taken apart this hydraulic brake cylinder it's used inside the wheel of a drum brake in a vehicle and uh, I cut it up so you can see what's inside this is how it looks like when it comes from the factory these two holes are mounting holes and they get mounted inside the inside the uh, drum brake housing solidly this end here with that kind of cut and this end here with that kind of cut that's where the brake shoes are attached and in operation this is what happens to it the where this yellow plug is this, this seal is going to be part of it where this yellow plug was this is where the brake line attaches and I don't know if the camera can focus and uh, where the main brake line attaches there what happens when you step on the brake pedal an amount of brake fluid is gonna be coming down the brake line and is gonna enter this chamber here and in this chamber you'll see what happens I'm just gonna have to take it apart this is the clean no this is the side that I cleaned up so you can see the exact shape and the other side I left dirty this is a rubber seal at the end here that's keeping the dirt out of the system and I cut up the housing here you can see this is a, there is a spring there's a spring inside inside two holes you can see one hole you can see through it Just there you can see through that hole and you can you cannot see through the other one because this one is this one is stopping the light to go through in a straight line so when you step on the brake pedal and the brake fluid rushes in through that opening there it stays in this chamber this other it looks like this because this one is for this is a bleeding valve and it's for getting rid of air inside the system when you install it okay so if I turn this bleeder valve out there is a hole in it that hole on the bleeder lines up with this hole in the middle there it's kind of let's see if the camera will focus on this one yeah okay yeah but you can't see light through that one but I can blow through it and it's really easily easily felt so air goes through there and air comes through here when you're when you are bleeding the air off from the system there so any air bubble would float up and now you can see through that one as well as the other one you can see light coming through both of those holes okay so like I said when you step on the brake therefore brake comes in brake fluid comes in through that line there through through that hole there and is forcing these two brake pistons apart I have removed the seal this seal from here just so I can move it a little easier now I can take it out of this one here let's see if I can do this with one hand okay it worked okay it worked and this is what this brake piston looks like There's, that's my cut mark there I cut it up and this is its surface you can see it's somewhat discolored and also it was a little bit uneven you can see this pitted surface on uh, on the housing as well just wait for the camera to focus there around right around there you can see the pitted surface on the metal and so like I said that's the this is the clean end of uh, of things where I cleaned it up the other one is dirty I'll show you how the dirty looks like in a sec this rubber seal here that's around 
Then let me just get this one back. There. Okay. So in, in operation, when this, the spring also helps, but the brake, brake fluid entering this chamber is forcing these apart, which in turn moves the brake shoes, and the brake shoes are pried against the brake drum. The brake shoes being pried against the brake drum generates friction and that slows the vehicle down. So that's that part. Why a leak develops on this one is because the brake fluid squeezes by here, goes past this rubber seal, that one there, and comes out here and fill the space underneath this rubber, the outer rubber seal and uh, when you have brake fluid coming out from the outer rubber seal the inner rubber seal is worn this is how the rubber seal looks like when it's worn just wait for the camera let's see if we get a nice picture this way no i'm gonna i'm gonna remove the rubber seal the outer one from this one there so you can see how it looks like when it's not cleaned up it's got a deposit on it it's discolored as well and you can see that the surface of this rubber is pitted and textured there you can you can see it so that's why it leaks and and when it leaks it's basically finished okay if there was a simple way to replace the this seal I would tell you but there isn't you have to replace the whole unit okay so that's my brake master cylinder story you can see this end all the dirt you can see the dirt compacted on it from the worn brake shoes and if I push this one out you can see the difference between the dirty side and the cleaned up side you can see that the dirt from the br worn brake shoes gets underneath the outer seal gets in between the brake piston and sorry other way around actually I'm gonna grab the other one because this one slides easier gets in between the brake pistons body and the cylinder housing and the dirt is still there not only the rubber seal wears and gets pitted but also the dirt from the worn brake shoes gets compacted in there because this one can't keep everything out indefinitely and uh, that extra brake pad material there is uh, also providing an excellent opportunity for the brake fluid to leak out because it's when you're braking it's under high pressure Alright, that, that's enough about that.